Insulation. Installation of a window cell. The installation of a window cell is a good example of a construction detail where damage through moisture and thermal bridges can be avoided when installed properly. First, the final coat of plastering has to be sufficiently dry. The insulation under the sill has to be fitted with a slope of 5 degrees to the outside. Now the sealing layer is applied on the inclined sill area. Use special sealing compound as suggested by the manufacturer. This layer has to be dry before continuing. Then the pre-compressed sealing tape is attached to the sill alongside the window and also on both sides. This tape expands after being applied and so fills the gaps between the window sill, the jams and the window frame. Before applying the window sill, additional strips of adhesive sealing tape are attached under the sill in the direction of the slope. Then mount the window sill and fix it with the proper screws. In the end, the sill connections have to be grouted with appropriate grouting material. Summary. To avoid damage through moisture and thermal bridges, it's important to fit the sill area with a slope of 5 degrees to the outside. The sealing compound has to be dry before applying the pre-compressed sealing tape. In the end, grout the joints between the sill and the window and facade.